Hey, so long, everybody. No sign crazy. I did my pruning. I don't know. It's their first year, so um, I should have got that. I've been doing my so-called research. So I found out that I guess most trees and bushes do this, but these are blueberries and like that I watered it probably way too much last year. But that's a new shoot that grew up. Which is cool. And um that's gonna be a new plant that's gonna spread. But uh I guess I found out that, let me see if I can get this to focus. Ooh. I can't get this to focus. Anyway. There it goes, I think. I think these round buds are supposed to be flowers. And the spear-shaped buds are gonna be new vegetation. So, so round buds are fruit, and the spear-shaped buds are gonna be. Uh, let's see if I get this focus. So, let me see. It's hard, it's so tiny. Yep, so I try to leave as many, um, as many, um, fruiting buds as I could and cut off the dead stuff. But I didn't cut too much because this is their first year on the ground. Last summer, they fruited though. And what I also learned was I think the fruit grows on the the new growth for the year like this is new growth that's old this is new a lot of this is new I cut away all the old stuff so they'll fruit for a few years and then they'll die back and you cut it back I think I probably could have pruned this some more but this is the first year in the ground so I didn't prune it too much There we go. Maybe I should have cut this some more. Anyway, I still got time. Prune these a little bit. Uh, not a lot. Keep learning as well. I see. I see where I could have prune some more. Now I'm looking at it. And what I also did was uh, I cut the. Uh, dug up and cut these shoots off of this tree. I should have took a before picture off of these fig trees. So this one had like three sticking out. This one had two sticking out. These are different trees. There goes some, that's a better pruning job I did right there. This one had, I think this is a Kedota. These are all different fig trees. This one had two that I cut out, dug out. This one probably will be better. I'm gonna cut this bush down. It's blocking the sun. That's why this one's such a midget compared to the rest of them. It didn't grow much. But it does have some fruiting buds coming on it. So that'll be good. And this one is a magnolia fig. I think I cut two out there so this was that this was growing shoots like extra plants coming up out the ground next to it and we'll get rid of those and you only want one tree you don't want a tree shooting because I don't have a fruit I'll just keep trying to shoot 
and yeah, I think I did a decent job with this one. I'm going to get rid of this thing. I cut it down. When I came here, it was up to the top of that, uh, almost to the top of that light post. I'm going to cut it all the way down. As soon as I get my chainsaw blade on, it's going bye-bye. I'm going to keep cutting it until it dies. I'm going to leave the roots in the ground, but it's got to go. And uh, I'm blocking up blueberries. One, two, three, four, five blueberries. One, two, three, four fig trees. I had another fig planted some other places. Um, a couple of them they didn't make it. But that's the food I'm done with my pruning. But my fruit trees, my fig bushes. And the other good thing, the big deal is, which is pretty cool, is I'm trying to take the shoots and uh, turn them into new trees. So I got one, two, two Celeste, three Celeste, two Magnolias, one, two, two Brown Turkeys, and two Cadolas. Two, four, six, and nine. I got nine trees all together. Celeste, Celeste. This Magnolia should be over here. I scratched the bottom of the ones that didn't have roots. The ones that came up with roots, I dipped them in some uh, some rooting stuff, which is here. Rooting powder. This is probably my second attempt to try and do this. First time I did it, it wasn't very successful. I didn't know about cutting, wounding it, so. These are wounded, the ones that didn't have the hair roots, I left them and I dipped the cut in in the powder. The ones that didn't have roots, I cut, wounded it, cut the bottom edge, some of the bark off, and dipped it in the root of powder. And I'm just leaving my hair. I guess it's, it's kind of cold, but it's not that cold. It's cold for Georgians, but it's not that cold. This is, these fig trees are. They cold tower. I'm going to leave them out here. It'd be nice if I had my greenhouse plastic. I could put them in the greenhouse, but I need to shop for some better plastic. But I think they'll be cool out here. Pretty sure I get another shot at this. And here's. I dipped these too, even though they were the ones I cut. They might grow into a whole other set of blueberry bushes. I'm going to attempt to uh, propagate some blueberry bushes towards the end of the summer this year. See if I can get more bushes. So, I paid for these trees. You can see if I can propagate them and have me like a, a mini orchard. I don't know if I want that many blueberries. I need to pick a berry though so I can have me a little orchard. Blueberries are cool. Blueberry pie. Blueberry this, blueberry that. Blueberry back to you and your mama. <laughs> That's it, man. That's the update. I think I'm going to snip at this one a little bit more. This one, I think I, I can do a little bit better job. Cut some more off this one. But that's it, man. Um, that's what I did with my late morning. Early morning, got to work. Now it's time to go back to work. Shalom, y'all. Yeah. Somebody needs to buy this trailer. Get this damn trailer out of my yard. $6,000. Anybody want to get it? All right. Peace. Shalom. Yo.